The Cincinnati Reds are beginning to arrive down here, and Sparky Anderson is just to uh, the other side of us, and we'll get Sparky over here in just a minute. Hey, Mike. Mike Lum. Say hello to our audience, will you? Mike, first year with the Cincinnati Reds, and a championship year really turned out to be something special, didn't it? Yeah, it's been a great year, and, uh, you know, this is a tremendous ball club, and I'm, I'm very excited. You going back home to Hawaii for the uh, wintertime? Uh, I'll be leaving in another week. Well, good luck to you. Thank you for Thank being you. on that great team. Ladies and gentlemen, the most valuable player of the 1976 World Series, Johnny, I've got my hat in New York, Ben. <laughs> That's where I got it, too. Uh, Rimanachi. i got to tell him I give him a plug anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> John, uh, I wanted to see that the spot on your head. What happened I to you last night? I got hit. Uh, I just hit the seat when I when I dove in the stands for the foul ball. I wondered if that's where you got that. Rather than makeup, I decided to use the hat. I didn't, couldn't see you early enough to get my makeup. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, those two home runs last night, as you said on those interviews on the network, your biggest thrill since you've been in the game. I, yes, definitely was. Uh, I think, you know, after culminating the whole year and looking at it the way it is, I know it was my biggest thrill, personally. Johnny, we're looking forward to being with you on Sunday night with Bob Hope here at the Riverfront Coliseum. Well, I, I haven't talked to Bob, but it, uh, we'll work something out before then. I, I know it's just between you and me. Well, that's going to be Sunday at Riverfront Coliseum, and we'd love to have all of you down there to join Bob Hope, Johnny Bench, and Pearl Bailey, and uh, all the big stars, Roy Clark, and all the money raised there, raised there is for Bob Hope House. Johnny, what are you going to do during the off-season besides shows like you're doing with Bob Sunday night? I won't do a lot, Bob. I'll play a lot of golf and uh, do some hunting and fishing and a few appearances, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to take it easy. Hey, with the way you played in the playoffs and in the World Series, you've got to be really hungry to get started for next year. Well, it's been a long year. I'm going to let it rest for a while. I, uh, you know, you can't top things like this, so I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Well, we thank you for everything you do, John. We appreciate your friendship, and boy, I was so proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Johnny Vance, the MVP. Here he is, the number one manager in baseball, Sparky Anderson. What do you say, Robert? It's good to be home. <laughs> Sparky, when I saw that look on your face last night, that patented look that you have, no smile, just concentration, I could tell in your eyes how proud you were of Will McEnany and what he was doing out there. I sure was, Bob, and I was proud of the whole thing. I wanted this Cub to be judged for what it was, and, and I really think they earned it. But the funniest thing that happened to me all last night, Bob, we got ahead 7-2, and two, and there was two out, nobody on, and I turned to George Sugar, our third base coach, and I said, George, I know now we are the world champions. He, he just broke out like that. I tried to call you yesterday. I, I got the message last night when I got back to get our bags at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, you didn't need our good luck yesterday, Sparky. Well, I, we got enough but early, Bob, to carry us through, but uh, really, it was a super, super uh, effort by a super ball club. Thank you, Sparky. Enjoy Thank your you, day. My pleasure. Thank you. Sparky Anderson. Well, here he is, another Mr. Baseball, the greatest second baseman in the world. And I'd like you to welcome Joe Morgan to the show. How are you, Joe? Thank you, Bob. And his pretty wife, too. Hi. How'd you feel about Joe out there playing that World Series really, again this year? I was really excited about it. Joe, I heard on one of the interviews you said last night that you had 11 years when nothing happened. And these last two years have really been something else. <laughs> right. It's been quite an accomplishment the last couple of years by the Reds and by the fans here in Cincinnati. It's really just a thrill to be here because I feel like we have the greatest fans in the world and we also have the greatest baseball team in the world. So they go hand in hand and uh, we all complement each other. Well, go out and enjoy your day, Joe, and thank thanks for everything you've done for us to bring winning baseball. I have from the IBA people a Cincinnati Reds medallion with all their signatures on the back I'd like you to have. We're going to give one to all the wives and to all the players. We're going to give them a certificate from Dino's International, 6th Street downtown. Thank you, Joe. Have a good winter. Congratulations to you. Hey, the big dog is here. <laughs> How you Hi, Pachuca. How are you, Pachuca? <laughs> I gotta welcome her, Tony, because she keeps you straight. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Bob. I just want to, I always want to know if Lee May like my hat. <laughs> I know he's watching. I want to know if he like my hat. I say Mo. <laughs> hey, Tony, what a great series and what a great playoff you had, and what a great year. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. I think everything come out all right for us, and I was just uh, happy that we won last year. Tony, what a record you have. The only active major league player to have driven in 90-plus runs every year for 10 consecutive years. That's a real contribution. Yeah, I'm really proud of it, really. I think any ball player to do that, and uh, if somebody come on and do it, I'd be just proud of I am right now. Well, and like you said, every other year, when there's somebody on base, you just heat the ball and drive them in, right? Right, hit the ball high somewhere. Well, Tony, I hope you're here for a long time. They should never let Tony Perez get out of this city. I hope That's so, Bob. Sure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Patuka, good to see you. Hi. How are you? Fine. Here's Tony's two boys. Nice to see you, son. Hi, Mr. Nice. Hello, Will. Hi, Bob. How are you? Oh, 
one great, and I know how you feel. Two years in a row to be on that mound at the clinching game, you got to be proud. I am. It's, it's a good feeling. You know, it's uh, kind of disappointing through the year, but uh, what has happened in the World Series, you kind of made up for it. And I'm happy for everybody. It's tremendous. Well, Will, you did a beautiful job in both relief performances. No one could ask more, and I'm very happy you're with us. Well, I uh, came on and uh, did a job when I was asked to do it, and, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't ask uh, anything of myself more. That's real yeah. coincidence that two consecutive years you'd be on that mound. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I just happened to be there, you know, at the right time, so... Yeah, I just want to go out and do my job, and it, it was, it's great. It's its great. Let's make it three, shall we, Will? Might as well, Bob. Fine, and for, okay. for your lady here, I have a pendant from IVA from the uh, Cincinnati Reds championship season with all the signatures and a gift for you from Dino. Thank, Thank you, you Bob. Thanks very much. Hello, Springfield. Hey, they love you up there all over. Thank you very much. Will McEnany, ladies and gentlemen. Well, more of the Cincinnati Reds will be arriving here in just a moment.